Hello, you guys, and welcome to Reviews with Whitney B. I'm Whitney B. Let's get into it, shall we? It's just my view. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I digress. Shines and rainbows. I am Whitney D. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You are in for a treat. I am probably, if not the only channel that gives you your dosage of 90 Day Fiance, especially when it comes to Jay and Ashley whole little shabaka, okay? So I'm back at it with some more content for you, okay? It just, it seems like it's a never ending saga, okay? As you guys are aware, Jay was released, I want to say on Sunday or Monday, if I'm not mistaken. But anywho, with upon his release, okay, Ashley had to weasel her butt in there, get her two cents in, okay? So uh, apparently at the trial um, for the whole um, PFA or what have you, his girlfriend was there and um, the speculations of her being pregnant came up by Ashley. So Ashley decided to go on an interview and um, tell this information, right? Now, Kayla, the girlfriend, denied these claims and was just like, she didn't even see me. I was sitting down. Where? So with that being said, and if you do not know who Kayla is, catch yourself up, go to my playlist and get in the know. But she's the girl that was over his um, IG page as well as the one who um, was over the GoFundMe page, okay? Now, upon all the other all the stuff going on, she removed her picture. And in a video, I said that. I said that, you know, it was up there. Then recently, she took it down with everything going on, okay? So, um, today, Jay decided to... Um, I guess unveil, unveil, unveil her. And to be quite honest with you, she's been out there clearly because going on to her page and looking at her videos and stuff like that, she has a lot of views and stuff like that. So I guess she's okay with coming out. But here's the thing. So he shouted her out and this is what he said on the, on the, um, post. In everyone's life, at some time, our inner fire goes out. It is then burst into flame by an encounter with another human being. We should all be thankful for those peoples who rekindle the inner spirit. So I said, oh, so he's talking about this young lady. So I said, okay, so I went on a hunt. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I went on a hunt. I was like, who is this girl? And mind you, he turned off comments, okay? So I, I usually try to go to the comments to see if somebody's gonna give some, you know, heart eyes or some heart emojis or some kissy faces and then make me click on her and do some further investigation. Couldn't do none of that. So I was like, dang it. So I kept searching and searching and searching. Well, you guys, I have found her and I found her page. Along with that, I found the video of Jay actually being released from jail okay she was there she picked him up check this out looks so naked right now i look so naked okay so you was able to see that video Okay, and um, also, and before I give my commentary, also, um, he's, he has been doing his own little, um, his own little post and shout out his uh, Tattoo Ink crew. Um, and, you know, people are all in comments saying that they would like to see him on the show this and third. Um, but uh, let me get back to the, the video of his release. Upon um, her posting a video underneath, it says, my effing baby, so happy, so grateful. And then she tagged Jay. And you can see uh, his sister liked it. Um, and um, Ego Inc., which I told you guys on another video that that's his boss, okay? And you got 46,259 views thus far, okay? So, um, you know, like I said, on, on the page, on his page, she begins to shout out people and stuff like that. Now, 
if you go down under the comments okay um i think it uh was uh i can't remember what video or what picture it was or what happened but this is what was underneath and i thought it was pretty interesting ella says he may choose to go back voluntarily after he is let out on bail or he may choose to fight it that's between him and his attorney what is chosen but as of now we are pushing for a bail hearing so he doesn't sit forever and in regards to americans who can't afford attorneys every single american citizen has the opportunity to be represented by a public defender who speaks for them and helps them understand everything immigrants go in by themselves y'all see her and y'all saw the video here's my view on this whole thing first and foremost i do not condone this okay um and a lot of people may um beg to differ with me it, even out of this situation if you are married you're married i don't believe in the whole where we're separated thing if you're separated do it right get a divorce and move on okay and my thing is to say, as a person going into a situation with somebody who's married um, and separated from this person, it shows the level of disrespect that you have for me because you don't even respect me enough to give me all of you, um, to give me all of you, all of you wholeheartedly um, on no um, on, on a, a on a level playing field. Um, you're going into a situation with somebody who is in a marriage. Period. I don't care if they're separated, uh, if they haven't been together for years or whatever the case may be. You can't marry somebody who's already married. So you mean to tell me that I'm going to move forward with you, grow to love you, grow in to love you, but you're married to somebody else, meaning somebody else owns your, holds your name. I just, I, I've never been a supporter of that. I feel that if you're going to do something, do something decently in order. So I do not condone Jay having a girlfriend, dating, or whatever the case may be. And to be honest with you, um, you know what I'm saying, even for, for Kayla, it's a bad look for you. You know what I'm saying? It's like real, but I guess she's young too. But from what I heard, they're around the same age. So <laughs> this is a prime example of the lack of maturity in, in, in the youth. Okay, and this is what I was trying to convey. And people are saying, well, you're condoning what he did. Absolutely not. I'm saying that I cannot put a 13 year old kid behind the wheel and then when he wrecks it be like why did you do that he's 13 he's not responsible or mature enough to get behind the wheel to understand the consequences behind getting behind that wheel so in turn who fault is that for putting that child in a situation and I'm the adult and I should know better that's my point so my thing is, is no, I don't condone Jay cheating on Ashley, but I don't condone Ashley cheating on Jay either. I don't condone the fact that Mary, that you're talking to this boy, be it he's 17, be it he was 18, be it he was 19 or 20. He is not displaying any kind of maturity. He was not. He was not displaying any kind of maturity. Up until even the, the show, whenever he was in the barbershop and he was talking about getting married and stuff like that, he looked like he was scared, like a little puppy dog. You know what I'm saying? I think the pressures of the show, I think the pressures of, you know, wanting to get out of Jamaica really weighed on him. And I think that Ashley was the outlet. Does that make that right? Absolutely not. But my thing is everybody has to be responsible in this case. And we're not going to just put everything on Jay. We've got this whole grown woman who's my age. She's, she's a year older than me. I'm born June 11, 1987. Her date of birth is um, May 20-something or May something, um, 1986, okay? So uh, she's a year and a month older than me, okay? So my thing is, is that <laughs> I think the reason why they kind of grasp to each other is because, mind you, she had been proposed to or engaged twice before. Not only that, her maturity level isn't there, if you ask me, because it tells you, it tells me the type of person that you are that you're going to continue to allow him to cheat on you and you continue to take him back. That's not love. That's not respect. That's not loyalty. That's ignorance. Okay? So, I mean, I don't know. Um, I just feel like, <laughs> okay, just 
getting just crazy if you ask me. But I'm going to continue to cover this story. I'm going to continue to see where the chips fall. If old girl starts to look like she's flourishing or getting thicker or getting bigger, you know, because um, we gon' we gonna see. But not only that, to see how long this relationship lasts, if it lasts, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Tell me what you think down in the comments below about Jay's girlfriend. You think she cute? I, I'm not one to talk about people or whatever. She, yeah, I, you know. But anyways, um, also, do you feel that, you know, this is right? Do you feel like, you know, no, like he's not with Ashley. He's entitled to move on even though he's married. Um, also, tell me what you think about, um, you know, um, just just Jay being out. And do you feel like he should lay low in, in lieu of him being out on bail and he still has to go up against this whole deportation stat situation? I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Why are you there? Please take out the time to like, share, and subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, I thank you so very much. Hang in there with me. We gonna get greater and better. But I need you to click that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload it. Please, 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 please. Take out the time to like. Give me some thumbs up, okay? That's how this video can generate and surface around YouTube and we can grow this review family. Thank you so very much. Just ask me reviews. I'm Whitney D. I'm Whitney D. Signing off. Deuces. I digress. Signing off. Deuces.